everybody, well, welcome back. A new report has revealed Earth's average surface temperature last year was the fifth warmest on record. The milestone ties with a record set in 2015 as well. Now this morning, NASA officials say this warming trend is alarming. Joining us to talk about this report is NASA research scientist Patricia Parker. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. And yes, this is very concerning. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, Michelle. So every year, NASA and NOAA, they analyze more than 26,000 weather stations and ocean data from buoy and ships. And this year they found that, as you said, uh, 2022 was tied for the fifth warmest year on record. Uh, and that's despite 2022 being a La Nina year, which we tend to see slightly cooler global temperatures during La Nina years. Yeah, that's right. So 2022, it is part of a much larger climate record. Now, how, how do the changes you're observing impact people and society? Sure, so temperature is just a number, but NASA cares about the climate and understanding the Earth system because it impacts it impacts people and it impacts society. And so climate change is not just a future problem. It's not a problem just for polar bears. It's mm -hmm. here, um, it's happening now. We're seeing it in terms of increased frequency mm -hmm. of drought, increased frequency and intensity of heat waves. And those things can be incredibly impactful for people like our farmers, our elderly population, people who are more susceptible to the heat. Absolutely. And NASA and NOAA launched this new new satellites to help study the Earth this year. Meteorologists certainly use them frequently. Now, how do NOAA and NASA satellites help us understand our climate and also the weather? Yeah, NASA and NOAA have this great partnership for launching and operating satellites. And most people, when they think of NASA, they think of space and kind of looking out into the cosmos. But actually, NASA has many more satellites pointed back at Earth than into space. And so those are incredibly important for giving us this, you know, nice vantage point to really study and understand our climate and our weather. So we can observe things like, you know, almost every aspect of the water cycle from groundwater to precipitation, clouds and ice. We can measure greenhouse gases and ozone and even track wildfires wow. and volcanoes in our satellites. That's so interesting, so amazing. Now, what do we expect to see in the future? Sure, so unfortunately, we do expect this warming trend to continue. Um, as long as we have elevated levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, we expect this warming trend uh, to continue year on year. Uh, but there is still time to act. Um, at NASA and NOAA, we try to provide the best scientific information possible to mm -hmm. the public and to decision makers to make those decisions that will impact us now and in the future. All righty. Well, of course, we don't want to see that happen. And um, real quick, where can we learn more? Yeah, if you're interested, we have many resources for you available at nasa.gov slash earth. Or if you're more into social media, you can find us by searching at NASA Earth on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. Well, thank you so much for joining us. You enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.